Hello everybody and welcome to my long-term review of the Mastrop Alex Cavalli Tube Hybrid Amplifier, which I will refer to as the, the Cavalli Tube Hybrid. The Cavalli Tube Hybrid is a 250 US dollar tube hybrid amplifier from Mastrop. Comes with a stock 6922E crystal tube. Once again, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads as I've been busy with school recently. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the review. First, taking a look at the build of the Crowley Tube Hybrid. It has the black milled aluminum chassis we are all familiar with from Drop and its other amplifiers, such as the THX789 or the similar Alex Cavalli Liquid Carbon. The build is quite hefty with a nice solid feeling not much more to say about the build than that. For the inputs and outputs, this amplifier is as basic as it gets. On the front, you have your balanced XLR output and quarter inch headphone output, along with a power LED, a power button, and a volume knob. The volume knob is decently sized and is very smooth and satisfying to turn. On the top, there are these holes for ventilation as well as the tube socket itself. On the back, there's the power input for the 115 volt AC power adapter that it comes with, as well as some standard RCA outputs. Just a note, because the Cavalli tube hybrid doesn't have balanced inputs, the balanced XLR output at the front isn't actually truly balanced. Now for the power, for the only specs that I could find from Mastrop's website, the Cavalli Tube Hybrid outputs 1 watt of power into 50 ohms through single-ended, and had no problem powering all of the headphones in my collection with ease. Now having gone over the build, inputs, and outputs, my testing of the Cavalli Tube Hybrid was paired with the topping DX3 Pro Plus as the DAC through USB to Tidal Hi-Fi Music from my laptop. Finally, let's dive right into the sound. Explained earlier, the Cavalli Tube Hybrid has a tube preamp with mostly solid state power staging, outputting two headphones. Although not sounding like a full tube amp, it does add just a touch of tube warmth to any headphones you plug them into. In my opinion, it sounds really nice with more of the analytical headphones that I have in my collection, such as the LCDX, Vocal Legia, Hyphman Ananda, Sennheiser HD700, and more. The slight touch of tube warmth and the smoothness of the Cavalli Tube Hybrid really helps balance the sound of these headphones, making them sound more pleasant while not being overly analytical. Getting more into the specs, like most tube amps, the Cavalli Tube Hybrid is adding a bit of distortion into the sound. Although not nearly as much distortion as full tube amps, this does mean you are sacrificing some detail and are smoothing out some of the edges of some frequencies, mainly the treble. However, as a tube hybrid, the Cavalli tube hybrid retains most of its detailed solid state nature. Mentioned earlier, the tube warmth smooths out and softens the treble, as well as making the mid-range more present and liquidy from my experience. It sounds excellent with vocals, it is mid-range forward music, as well as jazz or classical music. The Cavalli Tube Hybrid makes those genres of music on those headphones I have just that much more enjoyable and non-fatiguing. Now, the best part of the sound, in my opinion, is the bass and dynamics. Mid-bass definitely has more emphasis with the booming softness characteristic of tube amps. I also found that it opens up and improved the dynamics of the LCDX and Hyphman Ananda, giving it more bass emphasis as well as warmer, punchier sub bass that those headphones could definitely use. Now the soundstage did stay relatively the same compared to other amplifiers I have. Now another benefit with tube amplifiers is tube rolling. If you aren't satisfied with the stock sound of the stock tube that comes with the Cavalli Tube Hybrid, 
you can simply tube roll and get other tubes or maybe even warmer tubes to change the sound further to your liking. Now comparing the Cavalli Tube Hybrid to other amplifiers around this price point, some better measuring amps from Topping or THX, such as the Topping L50 for around $250, or the THX AAA Linear 1 for around 200 amplifiers, those amps are definitely more detailed and analytical sounding compared to the Cavalli Tube Hybrid. But the Cavalli isn't a slouch by any means. And people looking for tube hybrid amps usually don't prefer the sharpness or the bright sound signature that some topping decks and amps could sound like. Now, of course, if you're considering a tube amp for a more smooth and warm experience, some full tube amps I recommend for this price are definitely the Lil Dot Mark II for around $199 and the famous Dark Voice 336. SE for around $250. These full tube amps definitely double down on the tube warmth and smoothness of the Cavalli Tube Hybrid and sound absolutely amazing with the right headphones such as the MFs, the HD600 series, or even the HD800 series. In conclusion, I think the Cavalli Tube Hybrid is an excellent amplifier with a touch of tube warmth right in between a solid state amp and a full tube amp. The Cavalli Tube Hybrid is definitely a good choice for the price for someone who doesn't want a full solid state amplifier or a full tube amplifier, but enjoys the tube warmth and smoothness to the sound. So that's all for my review of the Cavalli Tube Hybrid amplifier. It is definitely a great amp, and I definitely recommend it. I know this has been a shorter review, but there are many exciting new things that are coming into the channel for me to review, such as my upcoming review of the Sennheiser HD700s, my new Shit Asgard and Bifrost stack, as well as these stunning headphones in the background. The Final Audio D8000. Spoiler alert, these flagship top of the line headphones are absolutely amazing and blow even my LCDX out of the water. Definitely end game headphones for me. So please look forward to my upcoming reviews and as always, thanks for watching.